The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. But Joseph is a fruitful vine. And to Joseph, or ye be a bar a swabapa, a fruitful vine near a spring. Now wait what your team a support whose branches climbs over the wall. Nani mine a fro etra a fessel. Whose branches climb over the wall. Nani mine fro etra a fessel. With bitter arches. Na na attacked him. They attacked him. Na what to share no so. They shot at him with hostility. But his bow remains steady. His strong arm stayed limber. Because of the hand of the mighty one. Because of the shepherd of Israel, the rock of Israel. Let us not be afraid of any arrows. Do what is right. Submit yourself under the authority of God. And the devil will run away from you. So why did Joseph not go to look for his brothers when he was released from prison. Now he's, he's not not just a free man, he is a big man and a rich man. Did he know where they were? Why did he decide to mind his own business? Why did he decide to mind his own business? Now, last week, we established the fact that Joseph was bitter. Now, there was pain in his heart because of the wickedness of his brothers. Now, we established that by examining the names he gave to his children, you realize that uh, he has troubles with with the with his past. He actually wanted to forget all his troubles and his father's house. And sometimes you have to mind your own business by drawing your own lines. Ephraim was simply means that. It is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. Now sometimes you be going through tough times, but you see in the midst of all that, don't blame any human being. Because God can still make you fruitful. In the land of your suffering. I want you to hold on to the principles that David and Joseph had. For them, everything is God. Now, everything is God. You see, sometimes God raises people if you are a pastor. Then God will raise a very tough elder in your district. It is all for your good. But for that elder, you go and take church's money. So God will raise the elder to help you, to just protect you and take you to heaven. See, brothers, let us serve God confidently. Knowing that he has our back. As long as he is concerned, our destinies are secured in his hands. Normally, we fight against people because you said that this man is trying to destroy me. 
this man is trying to destroy you, the child of God, don't worry. It will just be here for a moment. No one can destroy you. So, so Joseph never bothered to go and look for his brothers, not even his father, because they were wicked people. He was afraid of them, I guess. And it was better for him to stay away from them. See, this man, this reverend minister, Mike Medock, pastor of the Wisdom Center Ministry based in Texas, says this. Now, any contentious person who refuses to change must not continue to have access to you. You <laughs> People differ. And there are certain people, no matter what you do, they are very, very contentious. He says that any contentious person who refuses to change must not continue to have access to you. He is saying that if someone permits the spirit of conflict and disputing to enter into their life, walk away from them. Such people, they don't change. And they can harm you. Walk away from them. If you want. Now, if you have brothers like God and Dan, be careful. Nehemiah chapter 6. From verse 1. Nehemiah 6, 1. When word came to Sambalat, Tobiah, and Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies, that I had rebuilt the war and not a gap was left in it, though up to that time I had not set the doors in the gates. See, See, these people have disturbed Nehemiah from the word go. And even at the tail end where he has finished the walls, these people still had their eyes on him. They are contentious. They are refusing to change. Sambalat and Geshem sent me this message. Come. Let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Ono. Sambalat, any guess on Sumama, Waba, I mean, Chen said, Bra, now Yensia, Wongroa, a war as in a moo, war, dear Bonnie, any what you name, what you name, no hono, Emmyho. But they were scheming to harm me. Not what you name, who Bonnie. But this time they should have left the man. The man came from Ezra, he's coming to help rebuild the war. And no matter what you did, this man is still building, he's completing. But this time they want to harm him. So I sent messengers to them with this reply I am carrying on a great project and cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and go down to you? Walk away from them. Now, Miss Mama, walk or one chain. Now, Cocatra won't say, A Dumacassia and a Marie. Now, mean to me, mean sign me, ma, a DNT, and a Dumano and Naho, now mean Yaho and sign a Ramon chain. 
but they will not stop. And so, look at the next verse, please. The so. Four times they sent me the same message. Four times. And each time I gave them the same answer. Now, was Mama Oba Minchen Sahara and Brand Nine? Now, me boy on Sahara. Open your eyes. We when it. Watch. They, they bring the same message, give them the same answer. See, contentious persons believe only in their opinion, and unless you agree with them, you are an enemy. Don't forget now when you go around them and you want to keep their company, be careful. Because they will affect you with their spirit. If it is not about them, then it shouldn't be about anyone. Please watch out for contentious people. Walk away from them. Why do you have to walk away? I didn't see Proverbs 26, verse 20. Very simple. Let us all read. Without wood, a fire goes out. So walk away. <laughs> Without wood, the fire will go out. If you want only no, not without wood, so don't make yourself wood, so the fire will die. Yeah, this so jano, a bin you are a janube doom, yes, yeah, and one without a gossip, a quarrel dies down. Is that not it? Yeah, so sometimes try and then walk away. Say, as some can you and you are and toka a two trap. Sometimes you need to mind your own business. The two of you are, as I said, oh, you know. See, but in the encounter of J Joseph and his brothers, Joseph wept six times. And the, Joseph, on in your name, see, I know, oh, soon you're being prince here. Some people can make you weep, sir. <laughs> but, but two are significant for our discussion. The first and the third. I also suspect that David, Joseph, or somebody was quite emotional. There are some people like that, uh, like my father. My father will be weeping at the least. <laughs> so when you meet him at a funeral, he will weep more than everybody. And you shall send your Joseph a brother, but you know you'll be a inch now. You so at a hand. And so, um, let's go to Genesis 42. The moment you're almost a woman, a decano, a tea, a dear night, you know. Now, are we together? Genesis 42 from verse 7. Yeah, can you feel your moon so no? Now, as soon as Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them. But he pretended to be a stranger and spoke harshly to them. That was normal. Uh, in his heart, there was no love for these people. So speaking harshly to them was very natural. Where do you come from? He asked. From the land of Canaan, they replied, to buy food, full stop. Now, Joseph, any born in your nomino, any mono, oh, who no one now so a yen who say one and any a woman him now a poor pony and nick a such a one say, eh, and a move free by now. I say, you free can I as I say so now, ye ba a betrayed yanny. Although Joseph recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. Now, Joseph, who knew your nomino, now so one year when who no, then he remembered his dream about them. See, he has managed to forget even the dream. And said to them, you are spies. You have come to see where our land is. See where our land is unprotected. Now for him to even forget the dream. It means there was no way he was ever going to go to the village. <laughs> even the dream he has forgotten. Who else is there who he has not forgotten? <laughs> 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 he said, Joseph, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. 
Taheno, Iwire, Efi. No country one say, Muye Akwansra for Asasi Yadeja and Amoribeshe. Send one of your your number to get your brother. Is that it? The rest of you will, will be kept in prison. So that your word may be tested to see if you are telling the truth. If you are not, then as surely as Pharaoh lives, you are spies. Na Monsuma, na Mubako, na Uncle Famunian Emra, na Mudie, Munwefia say, na one shisha Munsemu, said Nukrimu, and Amunam Anna, and yes, Adia, said Pharaoh Tia say, Muye Aquans Rafo. Now pay attention to verse seventeen. A fate ye, and you do so ni pa. And he put them all in custody for three days. Now, now, but I'm going to read the big one. Very, very important. Verse 18. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this and you will live, for I fear God. I say, Da eto so mi ensa no Joseph ka kire won se munye yei na matena se na medie mi suru nyankopon Do this and you will live Munye yei na matena se for I fear God Na medie mi suru nyankopon His first action is to finish this people Na ne won na dwini mu ne se obe wie won pasa That he fears God Na so wo suru nyankopon So God you have mercy upon us Wo nyankopon o huni e mobo so when sometimes when you read the story of Joseph, we only concentrate on the fact that he forgave his brothers. Now look at what he's saying. Now after three days, he's been pondering over what to do with these guys. Then he came and said, do this and you live. For I fear God. But for the fear of God, you know, no ba won ni mbio no hwe won kra na dwene se nko be wie won na so asem o ka kire won ni se munye yei na matena se e san se misuro nyankopon verse 24 to asun yimu edio no enan na he turned away from them and began to weep this is the first one but then came but then came back and spoke to them again he had simeon Taken from them and bound before their eyes. Now, one Now, Now, why did he weep? I didn't know soon. Oh, he missed them too much. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. There was a conflict between his head and his his, his heart. And he was struggling. No, no, no. And so he wept. And was suing. Then when he came back, now he's going to release them. But he picked Simeon. Now so oh ye Simeon. Why didn't he pick Judah? I didn't know when you Judah. I mean you could have picked any of them. He picked this guy. Now so oh ye Simeon down for you. I'm sure when he was in the system and they were discussing him, he heard what he was saying. Did he say, Brana? I'm in any way. What did he want to come on? What did he want to say? You see, I was not there, but I'm new here. I agree with him. And so, when any agree, if he picks him, so he is Simon. Because the eldest son, Reuben, suggested that they don't do what they are about to do, and that he kept him in the system and he left before he came. The one who was supposed to be in charge was Simon. And the new year, but Penny or Ruby, no, what can I say? Oh, Mammy, my uncle, no, 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 because when Reuben was not there, he was in charge. He said, "Bra, Reuben, anyone, Simon, and I know." If he had stopped the brothers from selling him, they wouldn't have sold. So, Madian, see, Nini, I no more cry. Say, "Mamu, me and Tonwa, and go into me, yes, sir." See, Joseph picked him. And Joseph, Oji, Oji, no. For him, he was kept in custody. No, no, no. What you know to a fiance? And we don't know how long 
he took. Because when they went back and they were requesting the father to bring, let them go back with Benjamin, the father refused. The father said, Joseph is gone, Simeon is gone, you want Benjamin to, to go? No. Until now, they didn't have anything to eat. How long has he been in custody? I don't know. Joseph was struggling. Joseph, oh dear, prepare. But let's go to the third cry. Chapter 45, verse 1. Are we together? <laughs> then Joseph could no longer control himself before all his attendants and cried out. Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. Now, after that, Joseph into me, saying, "Whoso ever won, I will judge him." And who no, you know, and him. Now, at the end, mu, mu many people, you know, in free, me, who in free, di. Now, Joseph, you know, who a die, I tell you, you know, no, no. Now, only be bearer, and you know, in change. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him. And Pharaoh's household heard about it. Now, this one, they didn't hear about him. They heard about it. So, this time, maybe, the people will hear about maybe the story and why he's crying. So, the Bible says they heard about it. But up until this time, Nobody has heard about what these wicked people have done to Joseph. Not in Potiphar's house. Otherwise, the wife would have used that against him. Not even in prison. Otherwise, the cowbearer would have used that to qualify him. The young man whose brothers know. He kept quiet. And Joseph also know what he be I'm finding a new anom a year in Winina near Ofermo, what if a few, your firm with Yasio Ninano, near your nominee, you know, one can wish. I'll soon talk about we have to keep quiet. But I, now let me say that it is this cry that actually took the bitterness out of his spirit. And Jet make us alpha, Nintia, and we are said to the be a Becca no tumor. Now so, a Namsa soon so. I think that he pulled the bitter root out of his heart. Now he's now able to tell his brothers, come closer. Come, come, come. come close to me. Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now, do not distress and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. Now, I feel, I can't tell you one say, many, 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 But I'm not saying that when you cry, it means you are taking bitterness out. No. Some yeah, people yeah, will cry and the next day they will cry but the bitterness will be there. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. suggesting that it's a formula but I know that from, from the subsequent action that, that was the day he actually forgave the brothers. Yeah. You may not necessarily cry. You can still take bitterness out without emotion. But as I end this evening's broadcast, let me say that we ought to learn to be quiet. 
Let's learn to be quiet sometimes. Let's learn to be quiet sometimes. Joseph seems to be having have been quiet over the matter. Quiet about it in Potiphar's house. Quiet about it even in prison. Now quiet about it when he became the ruler. Until God himself orchestrated that his brothers will come to Egypt to meet him. We always have somebody offending you. But it is not necessarily always going around and telling everybody what somebody has done against you. Most often than not, those who talk too much, there will be Yes. is not the best. Let us learn to be quiet. So that your matter will be the best. <laughs> yeah. Let's learn to be quiet. Let's, let's try. Let's try and control this mouth. So let me say this before I read this one. All of, please listen to me. You cannot convince all the people to understand your side of the story. See, people will always choose what they want to believe. No, no, no. So don't worry. Sometimes after telling people all the stories, when you leave, you go and listen to what they are saying about you. People will always choose what to believe. Let's learn to be Christians and let's learn to be quiet like Joseph sometimes. Now, one person in the Bible says was like Joseph is the man Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 15. Verse 1 through to 5. Are we getting something? Yeah. Very early in the morning, the chief priests with the elders, the teachers of the law, and the whole Sanhedrin made their plans. So they bound Jesus. Even Jesus' people bound him all. And then you, when they touch your leg, you, you are crying. Let him, let him away and handed him over to Pilate. And Tamara Ereko Anopano, a sophom penny phony, a trefono, ne a bejafoni to Egina, now what you three years, I didn't know what Pilate and Sa. Are you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. You have said so, Jesus replied. Now Pilate will be saying, say, when you that for him, no, 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 now pay attention to verse 3. The chief priests accused him of many things. Not one thing, many things. So again, Pilate asked him, Aren't you going to answer? Because when Pilate said, Are you the king of the Jews? He said, You have said it. He didn't answer it. So Pilate was still not too comfortable with this man not talking. And then he says that, so Pilate asks him, aren't you going to answer? See how many things they are accusing you of. Pilate will be saying, be all say, um, we are she, can be a worker, a good soy. But Jesus still made no reply. And Pilate was amazed. Now, yes, we are she, now a year, Pilate, one, one. Sometimes. Put the beer. Let us, with our quietness, surprise the world. You see, because the tongue that we have, even when people are not accusing you, the tongue want to talk. The eyes see somebody pass by and the tongue want to talk about the shirt the person is wearing. Now, but this man, he was being accused and Pilate is giving him the opportunity to defend himself. But still, he was quiet. 
Wedi anu wa kansa mpi guno so na Pilato e ma na kwenya ama ne tete ne ho nanso na wa kana no atu. Isaiah 57 verse 7. Ye ka odifo Isaiah 53 verse 7. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers in silence, so he did not open his mouth. Ojama wode no ko akokum no se odwante a wato na hotwtwafo animu mum sa na wamue na no na let's learn to control our ma mumye nsia se ebe to ya no nereka let's give room for the wrath of god mumye ma onyankopon obufu ohun kwan he knows how and when to vindicate you onim kwan obefa so ato wire amaye don't fret over issues me man someone how sa be confident that your destiny is firmly rooted in him. See, quietness goes with patience. Luke 21 verse 16. Just look at the contest very well. You'll be betrayed even by parents. Now he's going to talk about Certain group of people who does things to you, uh, who do things to you, and then you realize that as for this one, it's just too much. Oh, and one of it is this: you will be betrayed not by anybody, but by your father, your mother. Oba be kasa fani pebi awo ya di ma wa ube giro akase eh na we di efrihe na osha si osi na wa ufo ni we ni anomne we busi anfo ene na pumpo. Brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. Now, listen, the one who is orchestrating and engineering your death, parent, brothers, sisters, friends, relatives. Now, listen, then verse 17 says that everyone will hate you because of me. The everyone is not too difficult. But the first part, the parents and the sisters and the brothers, because of me. Now in your so no say na bidinti ni penny na betano ni penny na no and yeah one wadu na o chimu a can wo for ni and we anomia busuan for no a hey and you know. But not a hair. Of your head will perish. Now, but not a hair of your head will perish. Unless God gives you over to them, not a hair of your head will perish. Stand firm and you win life. Verse 19. I want us to take that from the King James Version. In your patience, possess ye your souls. The issue with bitterness and anger is all in the soul. And sometimes they betray you. They tend to let you lose your head. But in your patience, Possess ye your soul. And no matter if a buffoon any yau di wun yina no ya ne koso e wo okrenim na so chrosem ne se mo boazi tomu e na mo be nyamo kra. Let's learn to be quiet sometimes. Umi yensiya se toda ye be kanya nuatu. Let's learn to be Joseph. Yensiya se ni a Joseph na obo ni bre. Don't tell the prisoners what somebody has done against. Then ka on e def ya se no ni a obi ayeti a wo. No, don't sell your family to prisoners. Then don't we busu ya e ma if ya se da for. No, don't sell your family. To Potiphar's wife and to Potiphar. Men tongue will boost your Emma Potiphar. Near any few for. No, don't speak evil about your husband to your friend. There be men can who can want some money and show a downfall. You'll be shocked one day. She'll play to the gallery and you, you are surprised. So, who, who, who did it? But it is you. But you want to say that? Or the better one saying, Gasso, who made you work as a hey, 
Why na ye say learn to be quiet. Omo din say obeto ano na reka. Several years ago. Fe, adofo no if we share bebre atwa. Were in a certain class. Na ye wo school bi mu aye su ade. And this lecturer came to lecture us. Ocheche che fo e bai. So obetre ade. Na he was in a very nice green tie. I had never seen a green tie before. Na wa bo ne tie kama 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 ha bai mu Green tie on white shirt some blouses. Na o sha wa he na ta ade no fita na wa kan shem kama set up aye. But it <laughs> okay. I didn't say that to her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the next time he came to lecture us, he gave me a parcel. When I opened it, it was a green tie. Now, I was happy. I was happy. That was in the morning. In the afternoon, while he was still teaching, he made a statement. Say, last week when I came around, Eric said he wanted my tie. Eric can say, my tie. So I, so I gave it to him. And every eye in the room swung to where I was sitting. I didn't know what to do. I just bowed down my head like that. Now, when we had a small break and I, we, I went to my room, I wept like a baby. But who do I blame? My mouth. If my mouth has not talked about this time, this thing would never have happened. Hmm. Ever since that day, if he's had no con. If I see you in a nice shoe, I'll just look at you in my eyes. I will never ask, where did you get it? Oh, this shoe is nice. No, I've never done that. Because of that man. Because Advise your mouth. <laughs> She learned to be quiet. I don't know. Because people, people are going to disturb you. In this life, we have all learned that offenses will by all means come. So stop going from house to house and then talking about your side of the story. People will always decide to listen to what they want to listen. Whether they want to hear what you are saying or not. Don't worry, please. God will fight for you. Sansa Brabo mu yesuya se nipe itwe yenwechi yei wane befu mu yenti jai se wonanti ekwe fye fye mu eke kan wense mono jai feme urade no beshe wu. Now next week I'll be concluding on the teaching on bitterness. Adofu no mu na wachu ya ebe ino yebe uye nchile chila efa yaudiye hono. But the conclusion today is this. Na ene diye ye uye ino the Christian life Places a demand on our on our new found faith. Christo suma ye womano bribi emono e shia kwain te bribi ebe fi ye njidi efufra ye njani muaba. That we no longer live to please ourselves, but the one who loved us and gave his life for us as a ransom. Nania e peni se yankasa yantina se ma ye ho ne mo ye betina se amane a odoyen no wui e de ne nkwa e ma ye as a people of god let us be men amongst the men adofo no msi yu nyankopon mo yi mo ye nye nipa e wo nipa ku nyina mu we need to prove ourselves as children of god e si e kire se wo nyame ma e ne yen in word and in deed people should see that we are born of god e se nipa hu no se in patience let us hold our spirit no one can destroy your destiny if Joseph was not destroyed yours would never be destroyed everything is God may the Lord bless every one of us